Hey everybody, Neil Malik from Knack Training here bringing you another everyday office video. Today's video is an answer to a question I got off of a webinar earlier this week. So as you can see in my Word document I have several entries in here that look like they're supposed to be the headings above specific paragraphs. And if I go to and highlight each one of those things that are supposed to be headings, I notice that they are not in fact actual headings because the normal font formatting right up here in the styles panel is currently selected for introduction or for first or for fourth or any of those other elements in here. And on top of that, the only thing that actually unifies each one of these things is that each one of them is 14 point font. Now I went a little bit overboard here, I used bold and italics and underline and strike through and different colors and everything else. What I want to illustrate here is that I can, within a couple of clicks, change every single one of these entries from being this diverse set of formatting choices to all being unified as simply heading ones. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the information I have, which is that every one of these headings is a 14 point font, and I'm going to use that to find every one of these elements and replace it with our heading one functionality. So I do that by using the replace button on the home tab. You can also use the keyboard shortcut control H. And what most people don't know in Microsoft Word is that find and replace doesn't just have to find and replace text with other text. If you click on the more button right here, you'll see that you can find and replace formatting and other unique instances throughout your document. So in our situation here, what I'm doing is I'm clicking on the find what box and I'm not putting any content in here whatsoever because the only thing that matters is that I find where the font size is 14. I don't know anything else about these headings. They could have bold, they could not have bolded, they could be different uh, fonts, could be just about anything across the board, and I'll click OK. Now what do I want to replace it with? I go to a replace with box, I go to format, and right here under styles I can say that each one of these should be a heading one paragraph style. So now I click OK and I click on replace all. And what it should do is go through and find every single one of those instances. Now the problem is that heading one doesn't specify in this situation whether it should be bold or italics or, or anything like that. So the only thing you see that's uniformly across the board is that all of these turn blue except for, if I move this out of the way, this one that was originally red. So I'm still not getting a truly uniform experience. So this is the first level. The second level is the following. Now that I know every one of these things is a heading one, I can go up to the styles panel, right click on heading one, and I can tell it I want to select all the heading ones. And just like that, it's gone through my entire document, found every instance of heading one, and now you could do a lot of different things to clean up this formatting. I'm just going to come right up here and click directly on that heading one format, and you see there that it's stripped that other formatting off, and it all looks exactly the same, that simple heading one functionality.